Hey, this is John Carlos, and this year is the 30th anniversary of Aliens, and on Alien Day, April 26th, lots of companies made lots of fun Aliens merch available, including Mondo Tees, which made this awesome Tyler Stout shirt that I'm quite fond of, and Loot Crate made a special Aliens crate that you could order on that day, and I just got it, and it's huge. Like, it's a big ass box. Um, so yeah, let's check this out. I am a huge Aliens fan, uh, and I've been kind of hard on Loot Crate in the past, so we'll see if they deliver or not, or if I get to be a snobby little jerk about the contents in this. I already like it. It's got some cool artwork on there, but let's uh, reach in here. So it looks like we got the NECA alien eggs, which uh, makes me very happy. We'll open this up in a bit, but they made like a six pack and I thought they were really, really cool. And this appears to be a little Loot Crate exclusive four pack. Oh my God, this just became worth the price of the box alone. We got the little Bug Stomper logo shirt, like from the side of the uh, little Sulaco dropship. Sold, done, everything else, I'm good. I'm good. We got a 30th anniversary Aliens uh, Dark Horse comic book. Uh, it's a hardcover, which is nice. So this is cool. Let's see what else we got in here. I got, well, this is obviously something that's like part of piecing together the contents of this box. Let's open this this way. There's a lot of crap in here. We've got an exclusive, like, vinyl Aliens figure. Uh, it, I mean, I don't think it glows in the dark, but it is like a glowy kind of green, and there's some silver highlight paints. But yeah, I dig this. I like that it's, uh, you know, the Titan figure, it's a big figure, but I like that it's from Aliens and not Alien vs. Predator. Um, more stuff to assemble something with. More stuff to assemble something with. Well, it says aliens. It's like a thin metal wobbly thing. I'm guessing it's a magnet I can put on my fridge. I don't know. And then this little binder thing. It's a, well, it's a breakdown of what you get in the box, but I like that it's labeled to look like uh, a Wayland yutani file. So that's cool. Now, if you open up the box, you can see that the insides have the artwork and you can fold it around to make the APC vehicle. So I'm gonna go do that. So yeah, here it is fully assembled. Um, you know, I didn't like put tape on some of the spots where you'd wanna like tape it down, but for the most part, you know, you get the general idea of what it's supposed to be. And yeah, those little pieces, that I showed you earlier, just kind of fold and plug into the top here like so. But yeah, I mean, I'm not really gonna keep this on display or nothing, it's still cardboard, but it's a neat, fun thing to do with a box. So these little things came in the box and I realized that they are a little display stand for that little uh, aliens art, little metal, sheet metal art. Um, I'm no expert, but I'm guessing that's Japanese for alien too. But yeah, I mean, this is decent, like artwork, I think it's, you know, it's vintage-y looking because it looks like an old 80s print kind of poster. So that's fun. Now let's take a look at the uh, exclusive little Titans vinyl figure. Well, it's cool about this the little things, but I like the fact that it says aliens on the bottom. I don't know, I'm stupid. I mean, it's got the copyright logo and stuff, but the fact they actually use the font, that's a neat little touch. Um, I don't really collect the Titan vinyl figures. I think they are kind of cool. It's just really not my scene. Uh, I already collect plenty, <laughs> if you see my channel. Um, but yeah, it's got articulation at the uh, arms. Uh, the image might be a little washed out right now. But um, yeah, I do like the fact that for a basic figure, they have like this little shoulder attachment piece that you know, if you had like a normal smooth figure, it wouldn't have these kind of shoulder and, and tubey things on the back, but they added them onto the figure, so that's cool. And there's a tail, and you get that little neck nub right there. I'm glad they included that. 
uh, but the head does pivot. I do like the little silver paint on here. You know, the, the color scheme on this is a bit weird, but whatever. It's a fun figure, and uh, the fact that it was exclusive to this box, and this box is part of Aliens Day, gives me a little affinity for this guy. Lastly, we'll take a look at this uh, Loot Crate exclusive version of the NECA egg box. Like I said earlier, uh, NECA makes... Well, first of all, when you first got these, like, and they, they included one of these with the Bishop figure. And then they made uh, a box uh, of six. And I thought it was cool. It was like a little egg carton. It was really crafty. In fact, I dug the packaging. Because, uh, you know, it even had, you know, just... It looks like a little egg carton, yada, yada, yada. I like it's got an expiration date on it. Really crafty. Like, you're going to sell alien eggs, Waylon Yutani, put them in a little egg crate. Love it. Uh, so I was going to get them personally. Here's a fun story. I was going to buy them and then I realized like, do I really need six of these things? Do I want to spend the money on that? I spent so much money on toys. You know what? I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. So I love that they included these in this set because now I have them. And it comes with little face huggers that go in here. Uh, but what's really cool is that these are glow in the dark. It says on the packaging, right now, glow in the dark. So that's fun. Um, yeah, let's see if these glow in the dark or not. As you can see, these eggs have a pretty decent glow to them. And I think the glow effect kind of highlights the cracks in the sculpt. The inside of the egg glows. Also, that big vinyl alien figure has a really good glow to it as well. The glowing effect on the face hugger is pretty good too. Both sides are covered in glow in the dark paint. It does tend to fade on camera pretty fast, but it looks good in person. The skeletal design in silver paint really does pop in contrast with the glow in the dark vinyl of this figure. I gotta say, this looks really, really good. As you probably guessed from earlier, when I seemed very satisfied by this shirt, yes, I too like this box set quite a bit. Uh, I thought Loot Crate really delivered this time. Really delivered. Now, I ordered this like a month ago, so I don't even remember what the price was. Uh, hell, this thing could be 50 bucks and I'd be happy because I would pay a good 20 bucks, 25 for this shirt. This is a nice hardcover book, this figure, and then the neck of, I mean, like, it's all, this is good stuff. This isn't junk. Sometimes you get stuff from Loot Crate and it's junk. Like it's a piece of candy or an air freshener or something dumb. These are cool. Not only are these cool because they're already made by NECA, but they're glow-in-the-dark exclusive versions, and, like, this is unique. Uh, this shirt is awesome. Like, I love exclusivity. I love aliens. This was a nice, like, uh, postscript to Aliens Day. I think they did a great job. And even, like, the inside packaging of this is really crafty, the way they, uh, like, worded stuff. The fact that it has, like, little uh, safety handlings. Some eggs may contain face huggers, which are most certainly bad for your health. Do not look directly into the eggs, you know. Ask John Hurt that. Uh, yeah, so really fun stuff. I never read this, but this is the original, like, 1988 sequel to Aliens, before, long before they ever made Alien 3. Uh, classic comic, never read it. Look forward to reading it. Yeah, I dig this a lot. So thanks for watching.